In the last year, New Hampshire has experienced a series of notable spikes in COVID-19 cases, some months seeing higher numbers than others. Some of this is just the nature of any outbreak and any um, pandemic. State epidemiologist Dr. Benjamin Chan says while it can be difficult to predict the trajectory of a pandemic, there are certain times of the year when a virus can spread more easily. Certainly the, the highest risk times um, when we've seen this in the past and what we're seeing currently are the colder months, uh, the, the seasons um, where there's people are moving indoors, um, the, the holiday seasons where people may be traveling and, and gathering together. And New Hampshire is heading into the holidays with record case numbers, in some categories higher than they were last January. Obviously, we're very concerned about the rise in COVID numbers. Governor Chris Sununu says the state has always known this was going to be a tough fall and will likely experience an even tougher winter. The key for us is, is working with hospitals to help manage uh, the um, occupancy and the, the availability of beds in hospitals. The state also continues to push for vaccinations through campaigns and making vaccines accessible. But the statistics show there hasn't been a drastic increase in adult vaccination in months. It's sad, but there's a lot of folks that don't really appreciate the severity of it till they see a loved one or a neighbor that's in a hospital or a tough situation, and, and then it starts to hit home for them. So sometimes it's those real-world examples that end up driving folks to understand, yeah, I really got to get this vaccine. And as far as flex hospitals, well, the governor says we're not there just yet. He says the focus is on incorporating surge capacities within hospitals by addressing things like staff shortages. Reporting live tonight, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.